the board takes the unprecedented step, the first time in its history, of moving the clock hand 30 seconds closer to midnight. Today we move the clock a half minute closer to midnight. It is now two and a half minutes to midnight. The doomsday clock is at present set at its second highest level since it began in 1947. Not an actual physical clock is a theoretical indication of how close the world is to complete global disaster. Started in 1947 by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, a publication created by scientists, engineers and other experts who had been part of the Manhattan Project. This is the project that created the first atomic bombs at the end of World War II. Understanding the horrors of what they had created, they wanted to warn the public about the consequences of using such weapons. The clock not only indicates the nuclear threat, but also takes into account advancing technology and the global effects of climate change. If the clock ever reached midnight, it would indicate an irreversible global catastrophe. Twice a year, the Science and Security Board meet to discuss global events. Since it began, the doomsday clock has been changed 22 times. Initially set at 7 minutes to midnight in 1947, it has got as close as 2 minutes to midnight in 1953. This is when the US and the Soviet Union began testing hydrogen bombs and starting a dangerous arms race. Fluctuating over the intervening years, its best setting was 17 minutes to midnight in 1991, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the first Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. In 2007, this moved to 5 minutes to midnight, following North Korea's first nuclear test. This was also the year climate change was added as a serious threat to human survival. In 2015, the clock inched closer, showing 3 minutes to midnight. Contributing factors were listed as the modernisation of nuclear weapons by all the world's superpowers, the problem of nuclear waste and the lack of progress made concerning the problems of climate change. In January 2017, the clock was moved again to two and a half minutes to midnight. The increasing arms race, lack of meaningful policies on climate change, the rise of worldwide nationalism and of course the situation in North Korea were all major factors. Of course that was in January 2017. With the crisis in the Korean Peninsula and the major superpowers all flexing the military muscles, one must assume the clock is now even closer to midnight. When it was adjusted, President Donald Trump had only just taken power and the tensions had yet to grow. Now the US has sent a carrier group to the region and threatened action to North Korea, at the same time that China and Russia have mobilised troops and hardware to the border and Japan has sent its largest warship. North Korea's president has ignored all this and has now successfully tested a medium-range ballistic missile and promised further nuclear tests. As well as that, the US has used the largest non-nuclear bomb to destroy an area in Syria, showing Trump's willingness to use massive force. As the Science and Security Board only meet twice a year, we are left to wonder exactly how close to midnight the clock would be if it were set today. We are all living in perilous times and the threat of world catastrophe has never been more evident. Let us hope that sanity prevails and the world moves back from the brink. This is Gruftigans wishing peace to you and yours and please don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you for watching.